Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrina's and today I'm going to show you how I did this eyeshadow and my eyebrows. And I thought it looks really cute. I've been doing my eyebrows kind of in a Spock eyebrow type of way and I'm really into it. So hopefully you guys like it too. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so lately to do my eyebrows, I've been using these LA Girl uh, super shock eyeliners I believe that's what they're called and the shades are going to be down in the description box if you want to know exactly what shade and here is me forgetting which side of my head is blue and pink um, I like to do opposite colors sometimes or sometimes I'll do the blue on the blue side but today I did opposite colors because I thought it was cute and this is a makeup look inspired by the pan flag so those colors are red oh my god no those colors are pink blue and yellow so that's what I'm doing for my makeup today and to do my Spock brows, I'm just uh, lining up my eyebrows like this and make sure they point upwards. And I'm using my Coastal Scents Hot Pots. This color is teal green. And I'm gonna use that to go over my blue because the blue was a little lighter than my hair color is. My hair is a little green now that it's faded a bit. Um, if you guys have any hair color ideas, let me know because my hair has faded quite a bit. And I am in the process of fading my hair. So I'm looking for new colors to try. And then I'm just kind of filling it in as I would normally. Honestly though, the blue side was a little sloppy, but it's okay, I'm gonna fix it with concealer. Next, I'm taking this pink shade in the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. And I'll use the, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll leave it in the description box, uh, the exact shade. And doing the same thing on that side. Next, I'm taking my NARS concealer. This is their soft matte concealer, and I'm using that to clean up my eyebrows. I'm running very low on this, so I just wanted to kind of use the rest of it to do mostly my eyebrows. That's what I usually use it for. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. It is like pouring outside right now, but we are in hurricane season. I am in Florida. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on this channel, but that's where I am right now, and it is pouring down rain. But yeah, so I'm doing the Spock eyebrows, meaning I want a really high arch. It's gonna go up towards my forehead, and I'm gonna look like a cute little alien babe. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the blue side. And once I get those even enough, I go ahead and I start on my eyes. So my two favorite combination of eye products to prime with are the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer and then the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I feel like this makes my eyeshadows really bright and stays on forever. So this has been my holy grail combination for like literally five or six years now. And I'm using the same shade I used for my eyebrows to line my eye like that and then taking the same shade and putting it on my eyelid. And I'm going to duplicate what I just did on the other side um, to the blue side and using that uh, teal green color in the same way that I did the pink. So I'm using the blue the same way I did the pink and then I'm using my NYX Vivid Brights yellow liner and using that to outline where I did the pink and the blue. This part was pretty hard. I haven't done like graphic liner in a while so I was shaking quite a bit and I'm glad it came out pretty decent because I was like so scared I was going to mess up.
Next, I'm taking that same teal green shade and I'm using that to kind of shade in um, this corner area of my eye. And then doing the same thing, but in the opposite color to the blue side. Next, I'm taking my subculture palette and I'm taking a shimmery green color. I'll put it on the screen because I don't think I showed it in the video, but I'm taking a shimmery green for the blue side and then I'm taking a shimmery pink for the pink side and putting that in the center of my eyelid, kind of making like a halo eye effect. After that, I'm taking one of my favorite blushes from MAC. I can't remember the name of it, but I will be putting it in the, in the description box, but it's basically like a shimmery orange color. And I put that on my cheeks and on my nose. It looks very dramatic on camera, but I promise you in person it's very subtle and it looks really cute. Especially on my nose, I really like that, it's so cute. And then I'm taking this MAC highlighter and using that on the high points of my cheeks and on my nose because that one looked like a cute little uh, alien disco ball. And the next thing I did was take this uninvited Fenty lipstick and unfortunately I think this is about the time where my camera died. So yeah, um, that's what I have on my lips. That's why I made that face right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember to leave me a comment if you liked it. Also, let me know what hair colors I should be doing next because I don't really know what to do next. This was kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, I really like it though. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.